Hello accounting students. I want to make this very quick video for you to show you the difference between typing numbers in an Excel and using references and formulas. So on your screen you see what we know now is called the accounting equation. Assets equals liabilities plus equity. And I'm going to show you what happens in two different instances where we have numbers um, we have our data up here, and then what happens is the numbers change, which is what often happens. So let's say we use references, which is the way you should do it. So we say the assets are equal to 500,000, and the liabilities plus equity are equal to the liabilities plus the equity. Okay, so 500,000 equals 500,000. Okay, now instead, let's say we just type the numbers in, 500,000 equals 500,000 because we just added it in our heads or we used our calculator. Okay, now what happens when the numbers change? So let's say that assets, we actually, we made a mistake and our assets are actually 600,000 and our liabilities should have been 300,000. So notice what happened. Here where we used references, our numbers changed automatically. Over here, we have the same old numbers, all right? So this is the beauty and the power of Excel. Excel is extremely powerful and has many, many capabilities, but this is why you should never type numbers into Excel because when something changes and you have a formula or a reference all set up, then the numbers will change automatically, whereas if you type the numbers in, they're not going to change. Okay, I hope that helps you to understand the importance of typing in um, using references, if you look up here, um, you could see, I'll give you, show you how this works. This is, these are references, the B1 plus the B2. When I look at your um, homework and then when I see this, I see, uh-oh, numbers were typed in, so that's not right, okay? All right, so hopefully from now on you will use references and formulas. See you next time.